Protein Synthesis by Daniel and Trent Protein synthesis is a process where cells make proteins. The first step in protein synthesis is transcription. Transcription occurs in the nucleus. The first step is the DNA and the spihelicase. Then, RNA polymerase connects the promoter on the chromosome. After that, mRNA nucleotides need a structural gene as a template and are added on by the base pair rule. Later, other RNA polymerases check for base pair errors. Finally, the mRNA strain is ready for processing. The second step in protein synthesis is RNA processing. This occurs in the nucleus also. First, introns are spliced, which removes introns and joins exons together. After that, a poly-A tail and cap are placed on the ends of the mRNA strand. This protects them from dangerous enzymes. If it is harmed, then some directions might be missing once it reaches the ribosome. Translation occurs in the ribosome, and the purpose is to make protein using amino acids from the cytoplasm. First, mRNA binds to the smaller ribosomal subunit. The tRNA anticodon binds to the mRNA at the start codon, and then the large ribosomal subunit attaches so that protein synthesis can begin. Then tRNA enters at the E site on the ribosome, attaching its anticodon to the corresponding mRNA codon. Then it moves to the P site, where a peptide bond forms between the amino acid carried by the tRNAs. At this point, it moves to the E site, where the tRNA goes back to, to the cytoplasm to bring back another amino acid. Next, the stop anti the stop codon enters the A site and the entire complex disassembles. Protein processing occurs at the Golgi body. The purpose is to make the amino acid chain fully functional. The polypeptide forms in a 3D shape in three levels of folding. The first level of folding is the linear polypeptide chain. The second, the specific Specific areas fold into helix sheets. Third, the uh, entire polypeptide fol folds in due to hydrophobic reactions between other groups and it becomes fully functional.